I've had this team sat on my shelf for well over a year and I keep finding other projects to do instead of painting these. Well, it's time to finally get them done and to give me more of an incentive, I've asked Elston to join me on a 12 hour painting challenge. Find out how I get on after this. Pickle job, pickle job, miniatures, excellent! So it is about half past seven in the morning on Saturday and me and Elston are due to start our 12 hour painting session very shortly, eight o'clock we're supposed to be starting. So I've just got everything set up, everything is ready to go and uh, let's give Elston a call and see how he's doing this morning. Morning buddy, how are we doing? Uh, you did not get a good night's sleep ready for today then. I did the opposite of what I usually do and I stayed up late and I'm punishing myself for no reason I can understand. How are you today? Uh, I'm alright actually. Uh, bright eyed and bushy tailed as the saying goes. Well, let's get cracking I guess. I've been intrigued by the idea of doing a long painting challenge for quite a while now. I've seen a few other people like Luke from Geek Gaming Scenics and Ollie from Broadsword Wargaming do the different 24 hour challenges and I've always wondered if I'd be able to do it too. To dip my toe in I figured I'd start with something a little bit smaller and go for a 12 hour challenge. The Blood Bowl team was the perfect size for this and as I've mentioned I've had this Dark Eldar one sat around for quite a while. I'd spent some time looking up different ideas for colour schemes online and after all that I decided to go with something similar to the box art anyway. I also decided to try something different for the armour. The idea that I'd had was to dry brush the armour in various shades of grey to build up a bit of a transition and the edge highlights and then to apply a contrast paint or a wash over the top. The hope was that this would create a nice blend on the armour without taking too much time to do. We started out the challenge and we were chatting away and after the first hour or so we were both feeling very confident. I'd got a lot of the setup and stuff done and felt like I would finish well before the deadline. After getting all the different dry brushing stages done I started working on the cloth parts on the models. I decided to go with purple and blue for these as I was planning on doing the armour plates in purple. I tried to plan out the colours, the painting order and the techniques so that when it came to the day I could just crack on and work my way through without too much deliberation. Once the cloth was all done I applied a quick brown contrast paint to the boots and gloves and then started applying the purple to the armour. Now I had actually forgotten to buy a purple contrast paint and I didn't have a purple wash. I did try mixing up one using a blue and a red but I wasn't really happy with the colour that it ended up giving me so I ended up using a watered down purple paint instead. Now this didn't quite give the look that I'd been hoping for but at this point it was too late to start over so I ploughed ahead hoping that it would look alright in the end. This is where having a tester model beforehand would have come in really handy as I could have tried this out and worked out any issues there. Lesson learnt I guess. Confident that I would finish well within the 12 hour time limit, I took a lunch break and played with Loki for a while and then after about 45 minutes I headed back to my desk and continued painting. At this point I decided to catch back up with Elston and was greeted by, well, this. What is... <laughs> Hi Dave. Hi. Hi. What, what, are you, what are you wearing? Wow, they're your goblin eye painting glasses. Yeah. Should we do a live stream? Yeah, let's do it, why not? Right. We had decided that we were going to do a stream around the middle of the day, so while we were on stream, I managed to get pretty much the rest of the painting done. I did the little green lizard scale areas that some of the models had. I put all the silver trim on the armor and all the little bits of detail like that. And then I worked on the skin. 
We streamed for about three hours and I was very confident by the end that I would be the first to finish. That is until we were getting ready to end the stream and I saw Elston's face. Can we just wait one minute? Why? Does Kev not have... Two seconds, guys. Two seconds. Come on, Elston. Speed Elston's up. got a smirk on his face, and I think Elston's making his way so he can be like, oh, finish now. Yeah. <laughs> it does feel like that, doesn't it? Two seconds. I know Elston well enough. Oh, that, he, oh he's done. He's That's done Elston finished. You finished? I can't say. We'll have to find out on Saturday. I knew there and then that he had beaten me, and sure enough, once we were off the air, he confirmed that yes, he had finished. I looked at what I'd got left to do, and annoyingly, worked out that I was about 45 minutes away from finishing. Remember that dinner break? So, with Elston heading off for a well-deserved rest, and the knowledge that I had been defeated weighing heavily on my heart, I finished off the last bit of painting and got my team based and flocked, and finally collapsed in front of the TV. One day I will once again challenge Elston and on that day I shall emerge victorious. But for now I retired defeated but happy with the effort that I made to dethrone the king of speed painting. So that's what I managed to get done during the day. If you want to see what Elston got up to, make sure you go and check out the video on his channel, the link in the top right hand corner, to see what he was doing during the day. So there you go guys, that was my 12 hour painting challenge. And now that I've finished, I've got a few thoughts on what I'd do differently if I did this sort of thing again. First off, I wouldn't take such a long lunch break and I wouldn't do a live stream midway through. Those two things combined possibly cost me the win, and next time nothing will distract me from trying to beat Elston. Joking aside, I'm happy enough with the end result of the team. Is it my best work? No, not by a long shot. If I'd not painted these in a 12 hour painting challenge, would they look better? No, because they'd still be sat in a box, not built, on my shelf. I can always go back to these at some point and touch up some of the rougher areas if I want to, but for now, they can head to the cabinet with my other teams and live there in peace. I hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below and let me know in the comments if you would like to see me do these sort of challenges again in the future. If you want to see more of me, pop along and check out one of the live streams here on YouTube every Wednesday evening at 8pm. If you want to help support the channel, you can either visit our merch store or use the Element Games affiliate link to pick up some supplies. This gives us a little bit of a kickback and it doesn't cost you guys anything extra. Finally, I want to give a huge shout out to Broken Toad, the official sponsors of the Pickle Jar. These guys make some of the best brushes on the planet so if you want to pick some up or some of the other products that they sell head to the link down below in our description that's all from me i'll see you next week with another video